Hello, 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 Divas, Diamonds, and Dolls. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk about femininity does not mean perfect. People around here talking about femininity. You have to be perfect. You have to be this. You have to be that. Girl, bye. Even in a feminine journey, walking this feminine walk, you are going to make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. There is not one on this earth is perfect. And I don't know who came up with that lie that being feminine, you must be Miss Perfect. It must have been one of our little haters who talk about feminine women being perfect let's jump right into the subject being perfect is a lie for anything for any anything and you can have a talk i live in the heart of the ghetto so you hear sirens and all types of stuff during these videos you hear where i live but anywho being perfect is a lie for anything it doesn't matter what you do there is always somebody who can come along and do it better but being fin feminine is exuding an energy a radiance out of you a beauty out of you the inner beauty projecting out of you in such strength capacity that others are able to feel see notice Pay attention to the feminine radiance in you. Whereas other women can walk into a room and be invisible, a feminine woman is very visible. And she's visible not because she's loud, arrogant, boisterous, braggadocious she's a know-it-all or anything of that nature no a feminine woman can walk into a room silently and people will feel that feminine energy the pull of a feminine woman to another feminine woman or to a masculine energy and the masculine energy is not just in men because if masculine women have a strong masculine energy, it pulls to them also. And a masculine woman does not appreciate a feminine woman coming in to her space and disrupting it. So we are not perfect. We just have a different energy. That when we come in, it's noticeable. We don't have to open our mouths. That feminine energy, the radiance, the aura causes you to be visible. You can walk into a room, sweetie, and I have seen it many times. And a lot of young ladies have a hard time getting a man, even though they walk in with Gucci shoes from the top to the bottom. They all Gucci'd up. They have money to spend. They have a good paying job and can afford these things. But they still can't get a man. They still walk into a room and be unnoticed because everything you're wearing, people are not noticing you. They are noticing what you're wearing they are admiring the Gucci that you have on so you are still invisible and go unnoticed when you are just suited up but a feminine woman can walk into a room with I don't even know what name no name brand clothes, just something cute, something dainty, something girly. And be noticed, 
not just by what she's wearing, but simply because she's walked into a room. Now, back onto the subject of us not being perfect. A lot of people think that being perfect means that we're not going to choose the wrong mate from time to time. Because you have some narcissistic, mask-wearing men in masculine energy that are controlling and dominating and we get into relationship and before you know it, they don't present the pain, the arrogance, the controlling, the competing and things of that nature straight off the door. They'll wait until they get you good in the relationship and then they'll try to out top you, compete with you, outdo you or control you constrict you keep their hand on you put their foot on your neck because they can't stand the true confidence the radiance the security that you exude so now they have to try to tear you down pull you down and make you feel bad about being confident in who you are they have to break and destroy your self-esteem because of who you are. Because they see you as perfect. And they want to break that to prove to you that you are not as perfect as you think you are when in actuality it is them who see the perfection in you that you know that's truly not there. Even though you're secure, even though you're confident, even though you've healed and dealt with issues and things from your past and the feminine radiance and aura exudes out of you. And because they can't control it, they try to beat it out of you or try to compete with you. So yeah, we make mistakes also as feminine women. We also make mistakes and we are not perfect in the sense of if you push the right button, there is no telling how my reflexes are going to bounce back. Now my mind and my heart, my spirit may be telling me, let it rise, sweetie, because you know who you are. But if you vex and torment and keep coming back and coming at me, we're going to have a problem. Because I'm not sure how my reflexes are going to react. So we are not perfect in the sense of there's never going to be any type of incidents because we're feminine. No. No. If you bring it, we got to have it. And yes, I'll go right back to being a lady. But in the same token, do not pull me out of my feminine energy. But I just wanted to have this little conversation to ensure you ladies, don't get caught up in people's opinion of oh she's perfect or oh she thinks she's perfect or oh feminine women are perfect or oh feminine women have to be perfect this that and the other that's a lie nobody's perfect nothing is perfect so we can dispel that myth and press forward this is femininity with mama gail Feel free to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like. Have a blessed and prosperous day.